my name is John Dahlbeck and you're in my studio in Stockholm. <laughs> I do all of these parts one long so I can just duplicate it into a longer section. What's the shortcut keys you're using there for that? For Q best users? Um, for Q is used as Control D. Um, it's the best shortcut in the world for for house music producers. And I don't want to forget the side chain thing as well, so I'm gonna duplicate up up to. Normally my tracks are 530s, um, so that's what I'm going to do here as well. Um, but this is anyway after the first breakdown. The first breakdown is normally after 1 minute or 1.30. Um, so in, as for the beginning, you just want to have it. Want to have as few things as possible. And sometimes, even though you can hear uh, the bass in like hi hats and shakers and stuff, you may want to low past them anyway, or high past them, so that it doesn't, you know, uh, interfere with any other frequencies. So I normally use uh, a spectrum analyzer so that I don't see, you know, it's not much action going on in this area, um, but without it, you see that there is action going on here. Um, it's stuff you don't hear anyway, but important to take out. It's like a... Um, that's the Rough Rider again. So without it, it's like this, and with it, it's... Then I'm copying the audio track I put on the shaker for this one as well. this as well, which I'm going to add some reverb to it. Then I'm going to bus them out to a group. And the purpose of that is to, um, I can adjust levels if the track is done when the track is done. So bus A is all the things that are side chain and then group two is the kick and group three is the perk. And obviously in, in dance music uh, the kick's gotta be louder than anything else. And on the master I have uh, the URS EQ for some mid and some top and then the API uh, 2500 compressor. Um, and then another EQ to have some um, the lowest frequencies and some of the higher. And then the spectrum analyzer. With your special analyzer on the master, what are you kind of looking out for? What are you? Well, it's just if I want to, you know, solo things. Like if I want to solo the perk, I don't have. I don't want to have much going on in the in the lower frequencies because I don't want it to interfere with the kick and the bass. Um, 
What about on the master though? Is there anything when when you, uh, the whole track's playing? Is there anything to look out for that you know? Well, can you, can you see the special an analyzer and go, oh, this is even though I can't hear it, this looks like it's got a real problem frequency or something. Well, normally if it sounds good, it's good. I I take it as it is good. Um, you know, especially after the the sausage fattener or whatever compressor you're using. Um, when you play the like the after the big breaks and you know when everything is about to be you know full on, if the if uh, the master is on red, then even though it sounds great, you don't want to have it on red, so you may you may just want to turn it down. But if this is constantly like up here, it's not good. But I'm I'm not using it to, you know, if it sounds good, it it sounds good, you know, and in clubs you want to hear it as loud as possible. So this is automation which I forgot to move when I moved this part. So I'm just gonna drag it to wherever it's gonna be which is over there. Tom, which can also use some Rough Rider. There's also a sauce of fattener on the on the kick. Just bring some little more um, edge to it. And for this sound, I don't want to have any bass. And Metrum is pretty good with, you know, um, each sound has like a quick um, effect thing. So I've added bass before and I can take away it. Um, Oh, it's already here, sorry. I can take away with this automation here. And I can also want to have it maybe in the intro. This is without the without the bass sort of kick as well. And then I want to do I want to bounce this pitched up voice um, and make it. Um, like a reverb echo thing so that it builds up and so I'm gonna just take the first sound and put it 4-4 four, four. and then I'm gonna add the audio damage uh, I think it's Ronin it's like a fun That one is pretty funny. I'm going to add more reverb to it. Hmm. 
make it longer and then loop that and bounce it down. The bouncing names for me, it's nothing um, interesting. It's just, I just write down whatever. This one is called 22 for without any reason, and the other one is 22A. So let me listen to it. I don't want to have that fade in. So that feels good with this. Which I'm happy with. Then I'm gonna make this one the echo one. And I'm just gonna do echo for a while too, the own voice. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna change uh, the free the filter in it so that it goes. obviously too fast I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce it down again so that I don't have any bass in it. And I'm starting to get annoyed by these clicks. zoom in and take them out. Instead of the kick, I think I'm gonna go with the clap for the break. And I will also do an animation on this one so that in the end. Um, there is no bass. You find the animation there. 
and for some reason if if you do like let's say you do this you have a sound that's being reverbed or anything if the bass drops on the one for some reason the kick disappears so I don't want to have that so that's why I'm making it just before the, the one and I want to make it a bit longer as well oh, I don't know what that was for starting to get on my nerves, so I'm going to have them only in the break. And then, uh, this is when it sits in a part, so you can go in the part and see what the audio files is like. Um, and if you want to have it as a audio file only, you bounce it down to the section, which I've added like a shortcut, which is Control b so now it's like, now it's a pure auto file, so I can you know do volume changes. And on that laser noise, I hear bass, so I'm gonna take that off too. feels too long so I'm gonna take away these two parts so that it jumps directly to that one and by doing that you mark this selection and then go uh, edit range delete time so now it jumps directly to this this section I want to have those um, effects I did earlier again so I'm gonna and then take away the bass or keep the low bass and I'm bringing the uh, clap again 